All right, this is actually what I've been waiting for. It's time to fight Minx. And what's so special about Minx? He has all of his units has indoctrinated. Meaning that my infinite swarm will meet his infinite swarm. And I'm going to lose with Stukov. I don't think Stukov is a good choice against this, but we're gonna pick it. Enemy raid on our forces. Be pragmatic. Uh, not you, not you. Uh, not really the things I needed, but oh well. Uh, he's gonna build a barracks, gonna send out dudes every so often. I don't have anything to meet that just yet. These are both good cards. I just need something to fight them with. Fight, fight the enemy. Mink skin is going to be so strong in this. Let's hit you. Starting to do good damage. I'm gonna send this out if I don't get anything else. Just the bunkers. Yeah, I don't have anything else. So let's go ahead and get this out. And I'm hoping what'll happen is he'll fly over, then uh, get killed while flying, and then drop a bunch of banlings. I gotta send this out. That'll delay their structure. That'll pull them a little bit. Alright, it killed some of them. They have some now they have these dudes coming out. Let's get hive growth going. Which may just be bad now that I'm thinking about it. Infested bunker time Because I just need things to not be dead on my side of the map Wait what what why was that there all right This takes care of most of the stuff here. Let's go ahead and grab this infestation pit And then we'll start sending the marines. The infested. Infested start going. Let's get these infested bunkers going again too. It's so weird that they place them up here. Let's get you going. You going. It doesn't have the spare port going. Gonna need our heavy hitters out quick. Alright, now they're gonna start sending stuff themselves. And Banshees, I should send out Primal Worms. Uh, but let's send out these Infested first. And then let's get out this Aberration. Let's keep the Aberration. And we'll send this out. Now we'll get the prime worms creeping. What's this? We're able to take out these banshees before they become too much of a problem. Let's get more 
contamination going. Actually, instead of contamination, let's get uh, clerkers. Huh. I guess it's... Yeah, it's just all units that are on the field get indoctrinate. I thought all of his units got indoctrinate. All of Mick's starting units get indoctrinate. Okay. That makes this a lot more manageable than I at first envisioned. I imagined every single one of these marines would get indoctrinate. Which would have been insane. Is that the Odin himself? He has bad anti-air capabilities though. Alright, now that we have two of these, we have our redundancy enabled. He's going to be sending out lots of boys. Uh, lurkers, perfect. No, my units are stinky. Okay, so I think his wave will push me back, but I'll push back that. Uh, we'll be springboarding back and forth for a while. Infestos is going to help with that. Yeah, that took out a lot of things. It has a compound, a little bit more redundancy. They've lost a lot of their uh, uh, true stopping power. They're like, hold the line! Yeah, more invested. Go! I am the tide. If Kerrigan's the swarm, Stukov is the tide. I don't know if that sounds good, or cool, or stupid, but I'll, I'm gonna go with it. This is fun. It's a weird attack path. I messed up my camera a little bit. Fix that. There you go. Getting banshees every time now. Which is really strong. These banshees aren't definitely uh, the surprise backbone of this fight. While these are the the, the, the infested are the front line, the banshees do the damage. Hmm, Nick Liberator is still here poking about. That's annoying. These guys shouldn't be too much of a problem. Lurkers will take care of them. Lurker Den, fantastic. Now my Lurkers will actually start participating in the fight. Wish I could tell how much, how, how many buffs this had, has had. Because it's definitely not at 275 uh, health anymore. It's probably a lot more than that. I could Dark Swarm at any time. I'm probably in the game. Let's keep these two in the back pocket whenever I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, we need, we're, we're falling, we're getting pushed back. These are my emergency cards. Another one of these. He has indoctrinate too. See, once we hit this wall, uh, they kind of have the infinite things. If these viralings are not going to help me, they're just going to feed the war machine that of Minsk. Send more dudes. Creeping queens. Let's get those uh, creep tumors up farther. Such a cool fight. We're out of the siege tank ring, so we're actually going to be grouping up again, starting to push. 
I do I have my second barrack structure? I don't. <gasps> my lurker did! You bastard. I only had one of those. If they if they protect these, they'll be good to go. All they have to do is protect their Thor and the sea stinks. If the Thor and sea stinks start taking damage, then they're doomed. Hey, I still have my infestors here. Oh, that's so that's so strong. All right, let's send in the death push. Let's wait a turn for those. Aberration? How big? Big aberration. Yeah, he's gonna slap them. The slapping will happen. And then we'll send in the Dark Swarm. Um, goodbye. Goodbye, Minx. It was fun. But you have no power anymore. <laughs> Not against Slap. And Dark Swarm. Hmm, he's living longer than I thought he would. I thought he would just immediately crumple. But I guess Dark Swarm doesn't actually cover the whole field. That is a big attack force that you just sent out. My Slappy Boy is going to take down the Siege Tank though, and that is very bad for you. Yep, that Siege Tank's gone, and that means your reinforcement power is significantly diminished. Lots of Goliaths though. Goliaths are strong. I don't- I still don't think you can push this back. These viralings also are helping me because it means I'm not gonna run out of cards anytime soon. But it looks like you might be out of cards. Judging by the fact that your main base take damage and I don't know if I'm the one who caused that. Did I do a perfect 100 damage? I doubt it. Yep. He is out of cards. Wait, how's he- I, He's out of cards in his deck. He can't draw anymore. That means it's only a matter of time, Minx. Still got two siege stinks hammering down. This is a valiant effort. Really making me work for it, Minx. Let's get these uh, primal worms out and they will pop up like here. Yep, and give me the detection I need to start pushing back these cloak units and these battle cruisers. Actually they're dead. But the cloak units are down and that means I'm pushing a lot stronger than I was before. More viralings. I am the attrition. More barrel links skill. Apparently I have something other than barrel links in my deck, otherwise it would be wouldn't be giving me just barrel links. Yep, there we go. There goes just tanks. With those tanks gone. So is your base. Woohoo! Map cleared. Minx is definitely my favorite uh, nemesis to fight. Gives you a minute to build up and it holds out a good long while. That was only my first attempt at fighting him, I think. Yeah, it was only the first one. And he took it took 14 minutes. That's like much longer than any other commander. Every other commander is very burst and then dies really quickly. Minx, Minx holds on there for a minute. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Keystone. Bye-bye.